Welcome to Suffolk. I'm sitting by one of the main roads leading to Alborough, one of the prettiest towns on this part of the English coast. Behind me are the quaint buildings that make up this seaside resort. And I want to paint here and show you how to do dynamic watercolour paintings. How many times have you heard people say, Whoa, I'm not going there, there's nothing to paint. Well, look where I am now. I'm at the back of Peter Wilson's boatyard. I'm surrounded by any sort of junk you can think of, old tyres, bits of trailers, all sorts of rubbish. And wow, look to my right, and there's a scene Edward Seagull would have been proud of. A deep green, a tree, some distant marshes, and an open sky. And I'm going to make a picture out of that. Using gravity to let the uh, paint come down the paper. And uh, taking the water straight down into the ring and basically getting straight out of there and leaving it alone to do its own thing. There are obviously a lot of people about here today and um, it would be totally unrealistic to produce this picture without including them. But people often cause painters problems. And before actually adding them into the picture, I just want to do a little sketch to show you how to tackle this particular part of the picture. Imagine this is a washing line. And what I do, I hang my people off the washing line. So, here's someone here, here's someone here, here's someone here, here's someone here. They're all different sizes. This is a big person, he's got a big head. This is a smaller person. And then basically, most upper torsos are cornflakes packets. There's one there stood on end. There's a smaller one there stood on end. There's another one. And there's another one. 